Former President Trump says he is okay after being hit by a bull just minutes into giving a speech at a Pennsylvania rally. The shooter has been killed, and one person attending the rally was killed. Two others were injured in the shooting. Man, welcome back to another episode of the Ruling Class Podcast. And it's, of course, it's your boy DD back up in this switch with another video, man. Listen, so this is just my immediate reaction to obviously the news that's all over social media all around the world an attempt on former president donald trump's life yesterday july 13 2024 not saying it's a conspiracy theory not saying it didn't actually happen i'm not saying i don't believe that it was an honest attempt uh but i have questions and as a lot of you should already know i'm, I'm not a democrat i did not jo vote for joe biden i don't care for joe biden um, I've only voted Democrat once in my life, um, but I'm also not a Republican, right? I'm, I try to be as objective as possible, and it almost reminds me of this picture that you see on the screen right here that I'm actually going to post on my page and, and, and get people's thoughts on it. But I watch these people go back and forth when I feel like we they all plan us. They all plan us, and I think it's obvious when you see the... Um, the hypocritical points at each side and the cognitive dissonance that each side operates in. But anyways, I just have some questions about what happened, man. Like, one of the questions I have is, okay, so there was an attempt on President Trump's life. Why? That's my first question. Why would there be an attempt on his life? Is Trump really that uh, big of a threat to the democracy, bro, he gonna be in the office for four years. He's already been in office once. He can only run and, and serve one more term and then he can't serve again. What could Trump really do in four years that he can't do again? I mean, that's gonna really shake some things up. Why would they make an attempt on Trump's life? He's already been in office. What did Trump do so bad or that was so catastrophic, so unprecedented, so monumental the first time he was in office that they looked and said, okay, we can't, we gotta get him up out of here. We can't have him in office again. What was it? That he didn't wanna leave? I, I, I'm just not, I'm not seeing it, bro. I'm, I'm just not seeing it. Why would they make an attempt on Trump's life? Objectively, because I know this is not gonna be received well by a lot of people. I know there's a lot of Trump supporters, black, white, and all in between, I get it. But just try to be as objective as you can with this. Ask yourself. If the elites, or even if you don't believe the elites was behind it, I mean, that has to be the only thing you believe, right? A regular person will be able to set up shop like that and get a good shot at this person, arguably the most famous face and recognized person in the world. He would get a fair shot at this person. That's besides the point. Here's my question. If they was really trying to get Trump up out of here, objectively speaking, set your emotions aside. Isn't there a lot of other ways they can do that? And I mean, we're on YouTube, so I can't really just say all the possibilities, but he rides in the car, he rides in a plane, he has to sleep at night. It's not hard to figure out where he lives. It's not hard to figure out where his family lives. I don't know, man. And I think it just looks better optics from an optics perspective that you have the debate with joe biden where i mean president trump won by default he didn't do anything spectacular i think joe biden was just that bad which we all expected that right and then this happens and then you get so close to to, to actually connecting with trump that you graze his ear so then he comes up with his fist in the air, which I don't even know what that means. As a cons white man, conservative, holding up your fist in the air, I, I guess that's just supposed to mean power, like I prevailed, I can't, I overcame. I don't know what that means. But then there's blood coming down your face after you, you, you know, you crash down. In my opinion, I think the Secret Service reacted kind of late. I mean, they're human, so I would just think that they're a little bit closer than where they were. There's a video of a man saying that, like, 
you know, he watched the guy climb up this, I guess, up the side of this building or something, and they were pointed out. He was about 50 feet away, and the Secret Service, and the, they did nothing. Um, but we could hear him. So we walked up. In probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking, I'm estimating here, I have no idea, you know, but um, we noticed the guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle. Absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police are like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him from right here. We see him. You know, he's, he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for you know, two, three minutes, Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. And next thing you know, five shots ring out. So you're, you're certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof? hundred percent, hundred percent. Why did they do nothing? If this is real and that actually happened, why would they do nothing? He said, you can clearly see the rifle. So you mean to tell me that a man was climbing up the side of a building in the open where regular civilians can see them, the police don't see them or don't react in time, don't get Trump up out of there, don't stop everything, and all the protocols is focused on this person. To get then get up there, set up shop, get a fair shot, a clean shot at Trump, and just barely miss him enough for us to be able to, he can come back up and we see the blood and it's, I don't know bro, I have questions. I, I just have so many questions. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I think Trump will be reelected. I think that's a I, I, oh, correction. I think he's already been selected. Um, and there's many reasons that I've talked about on this channel, not from a conspiratorial. I, mean, I guess some of it you can call conspiratorial, but some of it is just common sense. When you look at some of the things that they're setting up, I mean, too many people are against Joe Biden. Even if you believe or do not believe in the voting system in this country, it's just some things just don't make sense you know and i'm just i'm side eyeing it so this is my immediate reaction more stuff will come out later and i'll be able to give you i'm on a trip right now so i'll be able to give you all a more um detailed analysis of the whole situation from a birdshot view but right now i'm just i'm just giving my immediate thoughts as i see people react to it of course all the conservatives believe it but if this would have happened to joe biden who i'm not a fan of by the way i just want to keep reiterating that because people are going to hop in this comment section new to this channel saying that I'm a Democrat, assuming that because I'm, I'm black or because I'm critical of Trump that I'm a Democrat. No, I'm not. I'm not a liberal. So I I, I just have questions. I, I, I have questions because if it would have happened to Joe, Joe Biden, everybody and their mom on the conservative side would have came out and said this is a setup. This is to redeem himself after the debate. This is to, to clean up. I don't know. I don't know. Um, if you're new to the channel, man, hop in the comment section. Give me your thoughts. Hit the like button, please, so you can promote this video. Subscribe to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I do want to say there's a few funny reactions that I saw people have to the video that I thought was hilarious or to the situation. It's not funny that, you know, somebody attempted um, a shot at this man's life. I don't think no matter where you fall on the spectrum, nobody should lose their life. Um, I'm not, I, I don't condone that. Um, I don't support that. I don't believe in that. So I do want to make sure that I say that. And I do hope, you know, for all intents and purposes that Trump is all right. I do pray for the family of the individual who made this attempt on Trump's life. Um, I do pray for his family. And I send condolences because it's not like they were there, you know. But I saw some, some funny reactions. <laughs> People saying Trump going to show up to his next rally playing Many Men by 50 Cent. <laughs> Somebody said... Uh, Donald Trump said, get elected or die trying. Boy. But I also want to say, just real quick, this is what I mean by surface level people. You had one person hop in the comment section and say, a lot of people saying this is scripted and this was this was this was set up. And the proof of me that it wasn't was when you watched the video, it was that woman scream in the background that made it real for me. 
first and foremost, hearing a, a woman scream that isn't related to the situation react in real time is not proof that what we're actually witnessing isn't scripted, isn't still fake, isn't still set up to look like something happened when it actually did. That's not what that means. And I just got to say this because this is, this is fact. We all know that in a lot of situations, when something pops off, whether it's a big deal or not a big deal, and it's a lot of women there, you're always going to have that woman or two or maybe even a few women that's going to have this catastrophic, super obnoxious cry or call or yelling to the point that sometimes people just turn around like, lately, why you re respond like that? It's not even that big of a deal. Yesterday was different. I understand that. But don't don't go by somebody else's reaction, especially a woman, because we know how some women can be in those scenarios. Like somebody fall down and just roll the ankle and cry out a woman to scream like it's the end of the world. And we all know that woman. A lot of us got women like that in our family. So just keep it a buck, bro. Hop in the comment section. Give me your thoughts, man. Till next time. Peace. Oh, yeah. Diddy got a podcast.